Hello viewers for DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this video here I'll be showing you how to troubleshoot a misfire on a Dodge Ram equipped with a 5.7 liter V8 Hemi. This is a 2006 model. This engine was also found in other Chrysler products such as the Dodge Charger, Chrysler 300, Jeep Grand Cherokee, etc. The very first thing I would recommend doing is using your OBD2 scan tool to check for any faults. If there is a misfire, this should be followed by a check engine light. Here I'm using my CG Solid SC880 scan tool to check the codes. As you can see, we do have quite a bit of fault codes here. The ones we're looking for here are under the powertrain control module. As you can see, we have a common P0300 multi-cylinder misfire. This is also followed by some other fault codes such as the O2 sensor on both banks and the fuel trim being lean on both banks. The next feature we can use on the scan tool is a misfire data log. Not all scan tools have this feature. Keep in mind that scanners are intended to be a tool to aid in troubleshooting. They won't tell you exactly what part to replace, but will walk you through troubleshooting. I kept the scan tool hooked up to the truck while I was driving it. My misfire wasn't constant, it would just show up at random times. With the live data misfire log activated on the scan tool as I was driving, this would show which cylinder was misfiring. This would allow me to determine if it was cylinder specific, bank specific, or throughout the whole engine. During the data log, it was shown that all cylinders were having misfire issues. Therefore, my next step was checking something that was common with all cylinders, and that would be the spark plugs. I did replace the spark plugs in the truck about 20,000 kilometers ago. However, there can be issues with different brands of spark plugs depending on your vehicle. I do have a full in-depth video for the spark plug replacement on this engine if you are seeking more information. I'll just be brushing over the information right now. First was disconnecting the electrical connectors on each of the coil packs. The assistance of a standard screwdriver can be used here to remove that electrical plug. Next was removing the coil packs. A 10mm socket and a ratchet was used for this. Then was removing the spark plugs. Skipping ahead here slightly, after all the spark plugs were replaced, here you can see what they look like. I did notice during the replacement that they were burned up a bit, but the biggest noticeable issue here was one bank running rich. This is shown by the plugs being excessively black. As for the coil packs, these two can cause problems. Typically only one or two coil packs may fail, you won't usually see all of them fail at once. These can be checked using a multimeter. For working on vehicles yourself, either at home or in the field, eManual has dealer grade repair manuals available for any vehicle you're working on. Detailed instructions and information making sure you don't miss any important points and are ready to tackle any jobs. I'll include a discount code for eManual online in the video description. And make sure you use my referral link. This will allow me to make a percentage for each sale to help keep my channel going. Looking on the specific values in the repair manual for Dodge Ram, the 5.7 liter Hemi has a primary coil resistance of 0 0.558 to 0 0.682 ohms. It's always important to check the ohms reading on your multimeter first by touching the probes together. Then minus this value from your final reading. All the coils appear to be within the appropriate specification. After that was reinstalling the coil packs. Once everything was back together I did find the truck ran much better. However, a misfire was still popping up. I did notice that it had O2 sensor fall codes. This is the O2 sensor before the catalytic converter. So these would be known as the upstream sensor. These would adjust your air fuel ratio. The ones after the catalytic converter are monitoring the performance of your emission system. If you have one faulty sensor, most likely the other one won't be far behind, so it's best to replace them as a pair. This involved me using a torch to heat up the bung and then removing the sensor. After that, the new sensor was installed. Being that one bank was running more rich than the other, a faulty O2 sensor will cause this. After that, my truck was running properly. Now other areas to look at for a misfire on a 5.7 liter Hemi would be a faulty injector. The electrical connector can be probed at the injector to ensure you are getting proper voltage values. If you find it is specific to one cylinder, you can also move the injector around to see if it's traveling to each cylinder. If it's not moving from that cylinder, these engines are also known for having valve train issues. You may have a worn camshaft, lifter issue, or valve spring issue. Issues like this can be determined by using a bore scope inside the combustion chamber to inspect the valve movement 
a compression test can be done, as well as a leak down test. After that would be dismantling the engine for further inspection. This is especially a problem on these engines with multi-cylinder deactivation. Thankfully this has been disabled on my truck. New videos released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me and leave a comment below if you found this tutorial helpful. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.